Elon Musk has always wanted humans to live on Mars. But after several problems with the current Starship rocket, that dream now feels more difficult than ever. Experts say the current Starship is still not ready for a long trip to Mars, which would take about six months. Even if Starship is improved, there are still big challenges that must be solved to make the plan work. But now a new idea is being explored. It still uses SpaceX's Starship, but in a new way. This smaller version might be the breakthrough we need. If you're interested in exciting space news like this, make sure to subscribe and stay with us for the journey ahead. The new idea is called the Mini Starship. This smaller version might make it easier to get humans to Mars. It could be the best way we have ever had to make a trip to the Red Planet possible. Before we talk about the Mini Starship, let us understand the problem with the current plan. To reach Mars, the full-size Starship would first need to be refueled in space after reaching Earth's orbit. Then it would start the long journey to Mars. Mars is far away, about 225 million kilometers. Even with refueling in Earth orbit, the ship needs a lot of fuel to make the trip. When Starship gets close to Mars, it cannot use the planet's thin atmosphere to slow down. Mars does not have enough air to slow the ship with air resistance, so it must use its engines to land safely, which uses even more fuel. After landing, the ship would have very little fuel left. This makes the return trip to Earth a big problem. The only solution is to make fuel on Mars. This would mean using local resources, like carbon dioxide from the air and water from the ground, to make liquid methane and liquid oxygen. But this technology is still being developed by the United States Space Agency. It is not ready yet. Dr. Robert Zubrin, an aerospace engineer who first inspired Musk's Mars ideas, says the full Starship might not be the right tool for this job. Starship without any fuel weighs about 235 tons. Zubrin says it would need about 580 tons of fuel just to get from Earth orbit to Mars. Even though Starship can carry 1,200 tons of fuel, much of that is used just to reach space. So to refuel it for the Mars trip, you would need five extra rocket launches. That is a total of six rocket launches for just one mission. Getting back from Mars is even harder. After delivering cargo, Starship would weigh around 115 tons. It would need around 600 tons of fuel to launch from Mars and return to Earth. Making that much fuel on Mars would be hard and slow. The process would require carbon dioxide from the Martian air, water from the soil, and a reaction called the Sabatier process. To produce 600 tons of fuel, it could take up to 500 days and only if everything works perfectly. This system would also need a nuclear power plant to work. It would have to provide 600 kilowatts of continuous power, which is enough electricity to run about 40 homes for a day. This is not easy to build, especially on another planet. Some countries like Russia and China are already working together to try to solve this power problem. Because of all these problems, Zubrin came up with another idea. The Mini Starship. It is the key part of his updated plan called Mars Direct 2. The Mini Starship is smaller and lighter than the full Starship. It is made just to go from Earth orbit to Mars and back. The big Starship would carry the Mini version into high Earth orbit and then return to Earth. The mini Starship would then continue the trip to Mars on its own. This method uses less fuel. The mini Starship needs about five times less fuel than the big one. It can carry one third of the cargo or crew. This is enough for early missions. And since it needs much less fuel to return, it is easier to make that fuel on Mars. This plan allows the big Starship to make many trips quickly, instead of staying on Mars for over a year waiting to be refueled. The smaller crew size also makes more sense for the first missions. Sending 100 people to Mars, like in Musk's original plan, is not needed at the start. It would be hard to find that many volunteers ready to leave Earth forever. With a mini Starship, maybe 10 people could go first just to begin exploring. The mini Starship can still carry useful cargo. If it weighs about 100 tons in total and its empty weight is 20 tons, then around 33 tons would be needed to get to Mars. That leaves about 50 tons for cargo. This is enough for food, water, tools, science equipment, and even small vehicles. 
Astronauts could land, do science work, collect soil and rock samples, and even build a small base. They would also bring a small nuclear power station. This is important because Mars has many dust storms. Some of them cover the whole planet and block sunlight for weeks. One such storm ended NASA's Opportunity rover mission in 2018. Solar power alone is not enough. A nuclear power system gives a more reliable energy source, and after six months or a year, the astronauts would return to Earth. Because the mini starship needs only one-sixth of the fuel of the full version, the return trip is more possible. A slightly bigger mini starship could do the job better, and it would only need two engines, one for space and one for landing. There would still be room for people and equipment. This idea is now being taken even further by others. One student from Spain has created Mars Direct 3. This plan makes the mission safer by using four separate spacecraft. Even if three of them fail, the mission can still work. Here is how Mars Direct 3 works. First, two spacecraft are sent to Mars. One is a full-size starship called A. It has all the fuel-making equipment, including carbon dioxide collectors, water systems, and reactors. It also has solar-powered robots. If they cannot find water on Mars, the ship can still make fuel using stored hydrogen and carbon dioxide from the air. The second ship is a mini starship called Mini-A. It goes without people at first, but is set up to support human life later. It carries food, oxygen systems, water recycling, and living areas. It also has a rover and extra systems to make oxygen. Two years later, when Mars and Earth are lined up again, the next launch happens. This time, Mini-B carries the first crew. They land on Mars, do science, and drive a rover that moves fuel from A to Mini-B. This rover also sends extra fuel to Mini-A in case something goes wrong. The last ship to arrive is another full-size starship called B. It brings more tools, machines to dig ice, and a bigger rover that lets the astronauts travel further. It also brings parts for a long-term base. If all goes well, this system could support people on Mars for a long time. More starships can come later, bringing even more supplies to help build a permanent base, because the starships can be used again and again and do not need repairs between flights, they can take off only hours apart. This might be the fastest way to set up a real home for humans on another planet. Even though we still have a long way to go, Mars Direct 3 might be the best plan we have to explore Mars safely. It is simple, smart, and reduces the risk for astronauts. It does not rely too much on one big rocket or system. Instead, it spreads out the work and adds backup options in case things go wrong. That is how we make sure humans can finally step foot on the red planet.